Hi friends, welcome to Gadgets Portal. This is Shukesh Panik from India and today I will be reviewing the new BlackBerry Q10. I have been using this device for a while and I have found that BlackBerry has done a lot of nice things, added a lot of new features on this Q10 which you cannot even find on BlackBerry Z10. I am going to show you all of these hidden tricks step by step, so be with me. Now before I unlock, if I press the action button here, I can play music without even turning on the display. I have previously minimized the music player to an active frame. Now you can also use these volume rockers to skip songs just by long pressing. So these are basically music controller when the display is off and you can obviously stop the music by pressing the action key again. Now there are two ways of turning on the display. You can use the power key or you can just swipe your finger from the bottom edge of the display. You don't have to press a single key. This feels very convenient and I do appreciate this feature. You can put some custom message on this lock screen like your name, your emergency contact number and I will show you later how can you do this. You can also get an idea about your notifications though you cannot access this from here. You can launch the camera by long pressing this camera key. And if you swipe down from the top edge of this phone, you will get this clock. You can also set alarm from here, just like this way, which is also another very very convenient way. So BlackBerry has made this new BlackBerry 10 OS very user friendly and full of gestures. You can unlock this phone just like this way and there are a lot of things I have to show you on this phone. This Q10 is running on the new BlackBerry 10.1 and with the added QRT keypad, you can do a lot more compared to the old BlackBerry Z10. Now when the display is on, if you single press any of the volume rockers, you will get this floating music widget and you can control music from here. One thing I must say, the loudspeaker on this Q10 is the best I have ever found on any smartphone. It is extremely loud and crystal clear. Now as I mentioned before, you have to minimize the music player to this active frame before you use this volume rockers as the music controller. Now if you press and hold both the volume rockers simultaneously for a while, you can take screenshots. This is extremely handy sometimes. You can take screenshots of maps and give your friends directions. Let me show you the clicked screenshots. Here is the second one and here is the first one. Now there are four things you can do with a single gesture that is swiping up from the bottom edge of the display. First of all, if you want to minimize or close any application, you can swipe up from the bottom edge and you can click on this cross button here to close that application. Now the second one is if you swipe up and hold, you will get the list of notifications you have on this phone and if you don't think these are important, you can swipe down and this gesture works anywhere anytime. Now if you swipe up and leave, you will get these active frames that is your minimized applications and the fourth one is if you swipe up and swipe right you will get this blackberry hub that is the place where you get all of your notifications in one place here are the accounts you have on this phone in sync i will talk about this blackberry hub in depth later in this review well let's quickly mention our sponsor if you are in Kolkata, India, you can get this device from First Information Network in Highland Park Metropolis Mall. Just call on the number showing on the display and give our reference for the best price. Let's get back to the review and the next thing I want to show you is this active frames. As you know, these are minimized applications and some of these are active. That's why these are called active frames and you can put maximum of 8 frames here. 
now you cannot rearrange these frames but you can bring them to the first place like this way if you open the ninth application then the last one will get closed automatically so you can keep your important applications active by bringing them to the first place on this active frames window well the best thing on this q10 is obviously this beautiful qrt keypad the keys are nicely raised from the base and typing with two fingers is sheer fun you can also do hundreds of tricks with this keyboard starting from this home screen and you can search for anything or use some keywords like fb will bring you the option for updating your facebook status you will obviously get all the media related to this keyword and you will also get this extended search option now let's delete this b and you will get this calling option along with applications contacts documents and files and also settings audio video images text messages calendar applications and this extend search option so this unified search option on this blackberry q10 is just brilliant there are a lot of other shorthand keywords you can use like you can type tw for twitter there is another nice feature blackberry has introduced in this blackberry 10 os it is called instant action and suppose you have to call a person you can just write call followed by the name of that contact and you will get direct calling option right on your search results and here it is and in this way you can call a person right from your home screen just by typing their name and call you can apply a lot of other action keywords like you can use email for emailing text for texting etc so blackberry has done a fantastic job by bringing these awesome features on this simple yet intelligent user interface of this new blackberry 10 os well friends if you are really liking this special review on this q10 it will be great if you subscribe and keep in touch with this channel because i will upload a lot more videos on this q10 so don't miss any show now the next tips and tricks i want to show you are on the blackberry hub as you know you can get the blackberry hub just like this way and this thing works anywhere anytime whenever you are gaming or watching movies you can use this gesture and check your notifications blackberry hub as you know has got all of your notifications in a single page and you can also control which applications should send notifications here i'll show you that later in this review now if i press the space bar i can scroll down and to scroll up i have to press and hold the shift key and press the space bar again this trick works on the browser and any kind of list on this phone which is really very handy now if you want to scroll to the top of this list you can press t and to go to the bottom you can press b these are very easy to remember because of their initials there are few more things you can do here let's open the gmail and after opening an email if you want to go to the next email you can press n and to go to the previous mail you can press p this works in a couple of other applications as well there are a lot more things you can do with this keyboard on the browser like you can press i for zooming in and o for zooming out p for previous page in for next page and l for reloading or refreshing the page and even s for directly searching on the web i will show you all of those tricks in the second part of this tips and tricks series on this blackberry q10 so keep in touch now with this blackberry 10.1 os blackberry has introduced this black theme that is most of the time you will get this black background on this phone which will save a lot of battery power now here on this messaging window if you swipe right on the middle part of the display you will just get the previous screen and if you swipe from here you will get the list of notifications you have 
and this is quite useful because when you are already in the blackberry hub swipe up to know your notifications gesture does not work now if you swipe down you will get your list of events for that day and you can click here to directly go to the blackberry calendar which is another brilliant application i will cover that in the second part of this review series now the typing experience on this qrt keypad is very good and you will get this word predictions which you have to turn on from the settings now if you double press the space bar you can add period or full stop and if you press and hold on the text you can select the text and if you press and hold that text again you will get these options and you can cut and paste that text anywhere you want if you press and hold on any text message you will get these options of forwarding the text message or calling that contact now let me show you some advanced settings on this blackberry q10 you might know that this phone supports up to three languages simultaneously for the word predictions and these two are active at this moment from this option you can select which languages you want for the word predictions now under this prediction and correction you can turn on the prediction and you can also check this auto correct using the space bar and the next option is quite interesting this word substitution is sometimes very useful as well there is a substitution list preloaded and you can also add one for your name or any frequently used phrase this mn will mean minute and i have also added one this gp will mean gadgets portal and i'll show you a demo of it later you can add new keywords from here you can also turn on the period shortcut i have shown you before and this option is another very important option the phone can remember any new word you type on this phone and you will get those words in the word predictions later on you can also check this spell check where you can manually add new words to the dictionary of this phone now let me show you a demo of the word substitution if i write gp and press the space bar i will get this gadgets portal as i have said before in this way you can speed up your writing experience on this blackberry q10 now if i press this smiley here i'll get this option for attaching any photo video or any kind of media to this message and send that as an mms well friends i am going to show you some nice tricks on the camera of this blackberry q10 it has got a nice 8 megapixels camera and you can take photos in a very simple way you have to click anywhere on this viewfinder and there is basically no shutter lag on this q10 which is great the autofocusing is extremely fast if you want to focus this dog here you can press and hold and drag this focus box to this dog which is crucial especially when the background is far behind the subject to check the clicked images you can drag this without even leaving the camera app and this is the fastest way of checking clicked images i have seen so far on any device if you want to zoom you can just pinch on this viewfinder and this is another convenient way of doing things on this blackberry q10 as you know blackberry has introduced this time shift feature on its blackberry z10 where the camera takes a number of consecutive images and you can keep only the desired one now buddies i am going to show you the best trick for this camera and just wait for few seconds now here in this video mode after starting the recording you can actually move this focus box and that will bring some dramatic changes to this video the background will get blurred if it is far behind the subject and you can move the focus box to the background to blur the subject in the front 
in this way you can manually focus during videography just like a professional camera or a DSLR camera you cannot do this on any point and shoot camera so this is a very nice feature you should remember while videography this will bring this cinematic effects and ensure that your subject is in proper focus hi guys let me show you another reason of using the manual focus during videography if you manually focus on this black subject here the exposure value changes automatically and the background as you can see is very blur if i bring the focus box here in this bright area the exposure value and the focusing changes so in this way you are getting a very good professional quality video and bringing the focus ring function of an SLR camera and a professional camera well friends that's all in this first part and the second part is coming soon so don't forget to subscribe and keep in touch with this channel you can also check my website gadgetsportal.in for the written review and if you have found this video helpful then you can share this video with your friends who are into this phone and you can catch me on twitter at gadgets portal and on facebook at facebook.com slash gadgets portal so that's all for today thanks for watching and keep in touch